Hi there, Wes. You must be here to film part B of Virtues of a Neck Knife. I'm just going to finish up this knife. I'll be right with you. Oh, wow. What are these? What are some of the new bats he's working on. Uh, hello, YouTube. Welcome back for part B of Virtues of a Neck Knife. Uh, my assistant Wes is filming, and I am Murray Carter of Carter Cutlery, www.cartercutlery.com. And we're going to pick up where we last left off. I discussed the different virtues of a neck knife. I compared it to a uh, standard folding knife, a pocket knife. And today uh, I'm going to go over each virtue and actually physically demonstrate the points that I made in part A, virtues of a neck knife. Okay, my first point about the neck knife was that because of its simplicity, it's inherently rugged and durable for its size. I'm going to cut a few different things with it and show you what's possible with a neck knife. This is uh, some electrical cord. It has sopper, a solid copper wire inside. It's not the twisted wire. It's the solid variety. And it's an absolutely beautiful cut. It's uh, super shiny and super smooth on the cut surface. And, uh, you know, no damage to the edge of the knife. This is electrical wire. The other thing that you can do with a small knife like this is if you have a wooden baton or this is a brass hammer, you can actually place it in wood. And you can split all the way down through a log. Okay, again, you know, you could you could overtax this knife by trying to cut something with lots of knots or something, but you know, a reasonable size uh, log you could simply cut into kindling with a with a wooden baton. Now with the same blade, I can also shave my beard with it, pick out splinters. Oh, there's a splinter right there. I just pretended, but I mean, that's how you can pick out a splinter. Okay, so we'll take the same knife and we'll shave with it real quick. You've seen me do this elsewhere, so I'll just do a, a brief demonstration. Okay, I'll shave with it. So, I just took uh, 30 seconds and touched the knife up. I won't even bother with soap or anything. And there you go. Shave with the same knife that we can split wood with or cut electrical wire with. Okay, so uh, we'll pretend it's winter time and I've just arrived at the post office and this letter that I've been waiting for for weeks has finally arrived and I want to open it up and I want to open it up with my knife well it's going to be a little inconvenient to pull out my pocket knife on the other hand we can always access our neck knife to open up to open up a letter or do whatever you need to the point here is it doesn't matter what kind of clothing you're wearing so long as you can get to the string around your neck, you can always access your, your neck knife. Okay, this is a, a great argument for the neck knife over a, a folding pocket knife. I'm in my, uh, my jogging attire, and I've not done a lot of jogging recently, as you can tell, but I used to do a, a lot of long-distance running. And I just love the, the fact that my neck knife would just sit there right on my neck as I was running along. I didn't have any, you can see I don't have any pockets. There's no place for me to put a folding knife. And yet, uh, it was a great comfort to me when I was running because uh, sometimes there was a fairly big uh, dogs that uh, would approach me and I didn't know if they were wild dogs or not. 
and uh, nothing ever happened. I never needed to use my neck knife, but uh, I sure was glad I, I had it. Okay, so I've changed back into my uh, street clothes, and you notice, because it was on my neck, I didn't have to worry about taking a pocket knife out of one pair of pants and putting it into another. It doesn't matter how many times I change in the course of a day, I've got my neck knife with me. Okay, well that concludes our Part A and Part B, the virtues of a neck knife. And uh, thank you, Wes, for being my trusty assistant. And I'm Murray Carter from Carter Cutlery, www.cartercutlery.com.